Hello and welcome back to MPE 2023 in Berlin. I'm Hannah Wallace and joining me now in the studio is Julia de Tadeo from Nexi Group. Julia, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us today. My pleasure. Really good to have you on and looking forward to speaking with you. And I want to begin first by taking a step back and looking at how the European market has evolved with regards to merchant services and digital transformation, but also uh, interested to hear how the customer has benefited in that change. So let's start there. Yeah, sure. We, we've heard that also in, the, in this morning session, I mean, if we have to resume, it's all about buyers. And that are, those are really great times in front of us and, our, and for the merchants. Uh, why is that? Because digital transformation and digital revolution brought by mobile adoption, massive mobile adoption by <coughs> buyers, uh, basically uh, put the attention and put the uh, value to, towards the user experience, the buyer experience. Think that 80 plus percent of buyers value the user experience in getting their service or product from merchants as the product and service they're buying. Right. That's really a revolution. Yeah. So today merchants have to really decide how they want to compete in this new market, user experience based, competing with the other fellow merchants in delivering the value and the products in the best way possible. And that really moved, if we want, the um, payment from being perceived as a commodity thing that happened up until a few years ago to be square and center to the digital transformation. So if we have to resume going back to the slogan, it's all about buyers because the buyers today can benefit of very effective, very nice, very innovative user experience, uh, but at the same time paying with the uh, preferred local payment method or the preferred method that they want to use. And so they can really benefit and winning from uh, all the aspects getting the service in the best possible manner uh, when they want and where they want. And the design phase is really important here, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, if you are a merchant, um, defining the buyer experience you want to deliver uh, to your customers is a strategic decision. You need to find your uh, unique recipe, your um, distinguished uh, user experience you want to deliver. Mm -hmm. And only the design phase can really bring you the uh, defining a, a suitable plan. Um, and associating Nexi at the very beginning of the design phase is really important for different reasons. Point one, as we were saying, payments are instrumental uh, to delivering the best possible uh, user and buyer experience. Uh, and so associating Nexi gives merchants the opportunity to take the right payment decision, uh, leveraging the payment capabilities and the Nexi platforms and services in order to deliver exactly what the customers want. And thanks to the ergonomic uh, platform and services that we uh, put uh, make available to merchants, uh, the integration cost, given that the integration is quite a delicate and important phase, uh, happens quite um, rapidly, quite fast, uh, the integration cost um, uh, lowers. And hence, the time to market, so the capability for the merchant to deliver that user experience, make it available to their customers, um, really the, the shortens the time to market, so they are available sooner uh, than, uh, than later. So yes, it's quite, quite important in this new, uh, in this new game. Play, I would say. All right, some good advice there as well, I think. So, where are you seeing the most innovation in this space then? And could you share with us some success stories perhaps? Yeah, sure. I mean, in, the, in Nexi, I'd say we are really at the frontier of the innovation. Um, and the innovation is happening in all the different uh, points of the payment value chain. But when you come asking me, the, the success stories is really what I love the most because it's where the innovation meets the business uh, ask and, and, and the customer value. So there are very, really a lot of success stories. Let me point out a, a, a couple. Um, we have a primary merchant operating in the petrol industry that thanks to the uh, front-end and back-end Nexi services is capable to deliver innovative experiences. And again, it's really key, the experience factor here to their buyers, um, making possible, for example, to refuel the car without leaving the car. But not, not only, thanks to the data inside, something that we've heard also uh, this morning at the MP on the various panels, it's really the power of the insights that the Nexi platform make available to the merchants. Uh, the merchant has the capability to um, create market uh, marketing messages to keep their buyers engaged. 
and that is really important because it affects positively yeah. uh, the, the, the revenues and the P&L of the merchant. Another completely different uh, uh, use case that I could mention is a credit, uh, um, uh, cre consumer credit uh, operator. This company, thanks to the uh, front-end and back-end uh, capabilities of Nexi, uh, has been capable to um, put the decision of giving or not the credit to the buyers at the very right moment, when the buyer wants to buy something. So thanks to a very nice and ergonomic uh, smart POS integration, um, that, uh, that process is now really smooth and really fast, giving this consumer credit operator the uh, possibility to compete at the same footing, at the same level of new in, uh, entrants to this uh, quite uh, uh, competitive market and new startups, uh, making and empowering this, this operator to fight, uh, fight back the, 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 the competition. Absolutely. All right, some really helpful examples there. What I'm hearing yeah. is that it's the buyer, the customer, that's the one that's really benefiting there. Yes, absolutely. It's always, it's always there. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> as operators, all of us, the merchants, we have really to uh, design what we want to deliver to the, to the, to the buyers. Design uh, the, the experience because it's what today makes the difference. Uh, buyers are searching for convenience, security in payment, always on. I want to buy mm -hmm. when I want it. Yeah. Uh, in front, because I'm in a shop and there's value, but also when I'm uh, commuting. And it's really, uh, I, as I said before, digital revolution brought by mobile, massive mobile adoption, really, uh, it, it has been really a game changer. All right. For everyone. So that's interesting. So speaking off the back of that then, where do you think we stand uh, with regards to sales channels uh, merging in retail and how important is that omnichannel experience then? It is a very interesting question. Why is that? Because I do think that in reality today, nowadays, uh, buyers are not thinking anymore in terms of channels. We as buyers, when we go shopping, we don't think about, oh yeah, I'm an And we don't shopper. want to. Exactly. <laughs> we, we think from gro when we buy grocery up to luxury items, we think about uh, in terms of brand. It is, it is the brand that we value. And so <clears throat> we want as buyers the freedom to hope, to change, to swap, to the channels, to interrupt and then uh, resume um, the activity uh, that we were doing. Google is telling us that in information happening online or, or offline is a matter of habit nowadays for buyers for every uh, kind of verticals where they're shopping in. So I would say that today, uh, Omnitrend, uh, Omnichannel is not anymore a trend, is a, is a, is a must have for retailers, uh, from grocery again to, to luxury. But um, today, the, the, say, the market is asking a step forward. And that is really delivering, as I was saying before, the user experience is key, delivering personal experiences to buyers, meaning leveraging the data insights that, for example, Nexi put at the service of the merchant in order to understand who's shopping, what are uh, his or her habits, and, ha and hence uh, tailor the messages, the marketing messages that we want to deliver to the, to, the, to the buyer, and hence increase in a positive manner sales. Uh, different studies are highlighting that omnichannel merchants are, have positive impact up to 10, 12% to the top line that is a massive change. Yeah. And a positive note to end on as well. Uh, Julia, thank you so much for sharing your insights. and really interesting to hear what Nexi Group uh, is doing in this space as well. But I'll let you get back to the event now. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you.